Um, good afternoon. We have not reached an agreement with the Board of Education. CPS refuses to budge on our contract proposals that will have no cost impact on the district. Initially, we thought we might be close to a deal, but today we have found out that their bargaining rhetoric is as empty as their bank accounts. What we're asking for speaks to the very heart of our profession, which is being able to provide high quality education for our district's 600,000 students. And instead of making a deal with us, they've made threats. Threats to terminate 3,000 educators, threats to increase our class sizes, threats to eliminate our pension pickup, and threats to enforce $200 million worth of cuts. We're kind of sick and tired of these punitive policies and directives from CPS. We are professional educators who, in the last contract, were asked to work 20% longer with 20% fewer resources. We understand CPS is broke on purpose, and with that being said, we have said that we are looking at how we were at a negative 7% with a pension pickup cut, plus there were no lanes and steps, so that may be another 3 or 4% depending upon other people's paychecks. And then they finally came to us and said, well, 0% raise, but you can keep your lanes and steps. And we were willing to work with that, forego another year of a raise. Now, mind you, CPS has only had no raises for four years out of the last, what? Since the 1960s. Since the 60s, okay? But now it's going to be next year, and we just went through that when they stole our raises without negotiating with us back in 2011. So we ask for things like reduce our workload, the excessive paperwork is out of control, or get more resources for our students. We ask for the ability to grade our students properly and an end to countless unnecessary testing. Now, we are clear that more counselors, nurses, social workers, and other clinicians cost money. We understand that. But we want the cuts to special ed to end. CPS refuses to discuss progressive revenue options that are available to provide long-term solutions to their self-created fiscal crisis. Why? If they are cash-strapped, then why won't they look into these options as well? So for now, we are still willing to come back to the bargaining table, and our talks could continue, but as of right now, talks have broken off. Our contract expires Tuesday, and if no agreement is in place, we will remain under our old contract. 